Hey guys, welcome back to The Curly Reader. My name's Amanda and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a new book book haul. All right, so like I said, this is going to be all new books. Um, there is only one used book in this entire haul. I did a library book haul slash used book haul haul a few weeks ago. And so today we're going to be doing new books. These are books that I pre-ordered, books I bought new, books that were sent to me by publishers. And then I have a big old box of book outlet goodness sitting here as well. But first, I want to share with you some things that were very kindly sent to me by Lofty Ideas Bookshop. Um, Lofty Ideas is a bookshop that is located in Hawaii. Um, she has used books that she sells as well as different um, shirts and mugs and all sorts of fun things. So she sent me this book lover coffee mug. Sorry for the glare. Um, and I love it. It's so cute. Pink. You can, um, this one is customizable, so you can choose different colors that you want. Not this part, but like the pink was what I chose. And then she also sent me this really cute fall leaves and cozy reads, get my hair out of the way, um, long sleeve t-shirt that is just so soft and so nice and so wonderful. And so thank you so much for sending these my way. Um, yeah so also so d definitely check her out i will leave her um shop linked down below and check out her merch her fall merch specifically is just really really great this year and then also she you can pre-order her 12 days of tbr that she's going to be doing for christmas time this is only available for a limited time so make sure that you go check her out and get those orders in if this is something that you're going to want to be participating in but she has a 12 days of tbr um special advent style book gift thing that she's doing um, where you get 12 wrapped books that are numbered so that you can open them in order. There will also be additional goodies included such as book barks or tea or just different fun little things. Um, but you can specify genres that you definitely want included or that you definitely do not want included. But ultimately all of the book titles will be a surprise. Um, I'm sure that she has where you can like link your Goodreads so she makes sure that you don't get anything that you've already read. Um, but yeah it's going to be fantastic and so go check her out that is su it's such a cool program that she's going to be running through december and so uh yeah but you want to make sure that you get those orders in early because i know she needs time to prepare all of those so now let's get into the books uh, in this haul. Um, I'm going to start with books that were sent to me by publishers or authors. And so the first one that I have here is Vicious is my middle name. This is by Kevin Dunn. And this was very kindly sent to me by Fitzroy Books and Kevin Dunn. This is a middle grade novel um, about, let's see, what is her name? Sydney. Sydney Vicious Talcott. Um, and she moves from I believe New York um, to a small town in North Carolina where she just really doesn't fit in very well and so then her and a couple of friends that she is able to make start noticing that um, they want to start taking a stance on some environmental issues that are affecting their school and so it's just about her and how she can make her voice heard in this small town and it sounds really good so thank you so much for sending this my way. Um, the next book was sent to me by Penguin Teen. This is The Life and Crimes of Hoodie Rawson. This is by Isaac Blum. And this is about Hoodie Rawson, who is an Orthodox, or he lives in his Orthodox Jewish community. Um, and his entire community decides to pick up and move to a non-Jewish town. And then he meets and falls for... Uh, the daughter of the obstinate mayor trying to keep his community out of the town. So it has to do with anti-Semitism and it just sounds like it's going to be really interesting. Um, and so thank you so much Penguin Teen for sending that one my way. And then these last two books, I got books six and seven in the Explorer Academy series. This is a book series that is put out by National Geographic. So book six is The Dragon's Blood. 
um, and I'm assuming this one takes place in Asia. And then this one is The Forbidden Island. This takes place in Antarctica. There are seven books in this series and each one takes place on a different continent. Um, and they are like adventure books, but they are also like illustrated and it shows you where you're at in each chapter. And there's a lot of like scientific information in these. And it just, I'm trying to find a couple of the pictures, but they're just so cool and so well done. And I cannot wait to get into this series some more and um, just recommend my kids read it because I think it's going to be something that they're really going to love. So those were the books that were sent to me by publishers. Like I said, this one, oh, nope, wrong one. <laughs> These are from National Geographic, and these are the Explorer Academy, The Dragon's Blood, and The Forbidden Island. These are by Trudy Truitt. So, um, Trudy? Yeah, Trudy Truitt. So, go check these out. All right, next, let's get into just books that I bought new. So, the first one that I have here is Book Nerd. This is by Holly McGuire. This is just kind of a novelty book that has a bunch of different, like, things about a book. I read, therefore I am, when book nerds meet at the bookstore. But I got this because uh, when I was in Madison with my friends, my book friends, um, I bought a puzzle that was the same art style and I loved it. And so when I went online to see if they had anything else similar, this popped up and I was like, I just want this for my shelf so I can flip through it whenever I am feeling, feeling like it. Sorry, I'm all booked up. It's just so cute. And so, yeah, I grabbed that. Um, and then I went to a, uh, indie bookstore that's semi close to me. And while I was there, one of the things that they do for that store is on your first visit, you can tell the uh, staff there what you're interested in reading and they pick out a book for you and it's free it's a used bookstore and so the lady there picked out Beach Boy this is by Arda Sheer Vakil I had never heard of this before she said it is an international author um, it is set in I don't know I don't know where it's set um, maybe maybe uh, somewhere in India. Oh, Bombay. There you go. Um, and so I really have no idea what it's about, but it's the one that she picked out for me and it's really short. So I'll probably at least try to read it. And then since she was supplying my entire family with books, I felt obliged to buy something, which I'm sure is why they do that. Um, and so I picked up a copy of a William Kent Kruger book. This is Vermilion Drift. Um, and this has to do with um, in Underground Iron Mine, there are six murder victims, and they have been there. The um, sixth victim has been dead less than a week. And so it says uh, two of the bodies were killed by the um, uh, investigator's gun. And so it's just, yeah, it just sounds like it's going to be a good one. So that is Vermilion Drift by William Ken Kruger. Okay. And then I went to a Scholastic Book Fair with one of my kids and picked up the tryout. This is by Christina Suntornva and Joanna Cacao. Um, Christina Suntornva, I've read uh, How to Trap a Tiger? No, I read, that's the wrong, that's Take Heller. Um, I read uh, A Wish in the Dark. Is that it? I think that's it. Oh my goodness. Anyway, this is about a girl who tries out for cheerleading. Um, she is Asian and her and her friend uh, Megan are the only two kids of color in the whole school and so they're trying to be popular and so they decide to try out for the cheerleading squad. Um, this is obviously middle grade and I'm excited to read that. Um, and then when I went to the Twin Cities Book Festival in mid-October, um, there was an author there that I met and his books weren't available to purchase because the bookseller who was supposed to bring them forgot them. And I was like, that stinks. So I ordered his book and I got, and then he kept, and there he kept her by Joshua Mulling. Um, this sounds a freaky. Uh, it is about a man who had kidnapped some people and then some kids try to break into his house because they need like drug money or something like that and so it's all about like the uh 
assailant or whatever becoming the victim of their crime and it's or yeah whatever and anyway it just it sounds really trippy and so I got that as a thriller okay those are the books that I bought new like just bought because I wanted them. I did have one that was sent to me by a subscriber and that is the book number seven in the Keeper of the Lost City series. This was so so kindly sent to me by Sherry who is one of my subscribers. Um, we've been talking back and forth quite a bit and she picked this out and sent it to me and I just thank you so much Sherry. You are so kind and so wonderful and I've loved getting to know you just a little bit um, through our uh, conversations back and forth but this is a middle grade series that I am trying to collect all of them. I've read two so far and uh, trying to catch up. We're trying but I'm very excited to have that. Um, and then I have books that I pre-ordered. So these next four books are all books that I knew that I wanted so bad that they are brand new releases that I pre-ordered. Um, the first is a continuation in a middle grade graphic novel series, and that is Enemies by Svetlana Tvakova. Um, This is a book number five in this series. They go in... Um, alphabetical order. So like the first one was awkward, the second one was brave, the third one was crush, the fourth one was like an interactive called diary, and then we have enemies. And so this one is about frenemies, I believe. Um, and I'm excited. I'm excited to continue that series. All right, I lied. There's actually five books here because this next one I had forgotten about. And this is another continuation of a middle grade series that I was really excited to have. And this is book number three in the Witches of Brooklyn series. This is S'more Magic. And this is all about Effie going to camp. Effie is a little girl who goes to live with her aunts in the first book and finds out she's a witch. And I have loved the book so far and I cannot wait to read this next installment. Um, next we have a book by a beloved author and that is Otter by Katherine Applegate. This is a book in verse about an otter and his experience, his, their, their experience, um, with a great white shark. And it just, it's going to be so wonderful. I, I just, I can't wait. All right. Next we have a book by Kwame Alexander, The Door of No Return. This sounds so good. This is also a book in verse. It's a middle grade about The Door of No Return. Um, and an African boy, I think, who goes through it, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, the Door of No Return was a door in Africa that a lot of slaves went through, um, or a lot of African people went through when they were being put on slave ships to come over to the Americas. And, uh, yeah, so I think this will be a really powerful book. And then the last one here that I pre-ordered is... Winner, the Winners by Frederick Bachman. Um, this is the third book in the Beartown series, and I am so excited. So excited for this book. So excited for this book. Um, I did order this on um, Book Depository so I could get the paperback because, one, it's, it's nice and floppy, and two, all of my other Beartown series are all in paperback, and so I wanted paperback. So a um, little trick is if you're looking specifically for a paperback or hardback and you can't find it, check on Book Depository because they might have it. All right, next book outlet. Let's open this sucker and see what is in here. I honestly don't even really remember what I ordered. Okay, so let's start with, I ordered Abby Jimenez. I forgot I had ordered all of these. Um, where? Oh, I forgot I had that. Okay. So, we have, oops, wrong order, The Friend Zone, The Happily Ever After Playlist, and Life's Too Short. These are all by Abby Jimenez. This is her backlist. Um, I read all of these already. I love her to pieces, and so I wanted them all for my shelf. So now I have them. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? I have Bad Luck Bridesmaid. This is one that was recommended during our BookTube Besties virtual retreat, and it was really cheap, so I got it. I got a couple of books for giveaways that I will be doing. Very exciting. And then I also got What About Will? This is by Ellen Hopkins. And this is um, a book about a boy who has, whose brother has some drug issues, I think, and goes into treatment for them. And I think that that's what this is about. It has, it's written in verse, so I know that. 
Um, and then I also got a couple puzzles. I got a flow puzzle, which I've really enjoyed doing in the past. This has flowers on it. It's very, very cute. And then I got this puzzle, um, which I'm also very excited about. And that is Anna, what is it called? Anamorphia, Tiger in the Night. And so it's like, I don't know if you can see it because of the glare, but yeah, you can kind of see kind of see it a little bit it looks really really cool so anyway that's what's in there that I can show you um and that's it that's going to be the book haul for today so if you've read anything that I've showed you today I would love to hear about it and hear your opinions on all of it and other than that I hope that you enjoyed this I hope that you stick around and subscribe and until next time see ya